Hey guys, welcome back to Eric Reacts with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Approach Series. This is episode 70, A Convenient Truth. And uh, sorry about episode 69, guys. Uh, I put it up and there was a copyrighted song in it, so it got taken down. And I edited the song out and put it back up and it still got taken down. So I'll see if there's another way to get it up at some point. But for now, let's move on. Episode 70, A Convenient Truth. Thanks for putting down Pokemon Go for two seconds to watch this video. Uh, I've actually been playing a little bit. Seduced the computer into telling me where Pegasus is. This room is the only place it could possibly be. She didn't give you any nasty STD drives, did she? Huh? Huh? Get it? Computers? Leave the bad sex jokes to the professionals, <laughs> Yugi. So how do we get in? Simple. Pegasus sent me this card in the mail. Now stand back and let the King of Doors handle this. Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! Uh, hang on, let me try again. Booyah! Hmm. Nope. It appears my booyahing has no effect. Hey, try <laughs> flipping the card a different way and then swipe it. I got this, Joey. Booyah! You just swiped it the same way as before. No, I didn't. Booyah! Again, you just did it again the same way as before. Booyah! <laughs> Maybe if I try whispering it. Booyah. Booyah! Try wrapping it in a plastic bag and then swipe it. That always works. What? We don't have one of those, Taya. They do. They don't. Booyah! Look, just let someone else Peter. try it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that when you try to do what I'm doing, that'll just magically fix it. That makes <laughs> I roll. Sense. Well, there's I no roll. need to be sarcastic. I'm just trying to help. Booyah! Try believing in the heart of the cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh. For the King of Games, he does get made fun of quite a bit, doesn't he? Booyah! Nice one, Tristan. How'd you get the door open? He must have used some manner of dark sorcery. No, I just flipped the card the other way. Mm -hmm. Quiet, you sorcerer. Whoa! This place rules. <laughs> Toon <Yeah>. world. <laughs> we can film a crappy <laughs> 90s music video here. Breaking, breaking the law, breaking, breaking the, the law. law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Don't look at me, I didn't bring them. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi boy. You're <laughs> uh, my Kenobi boy. Hope. Pegasus! No, it's just a hologram. Impossible! He can't just summon himself to the field, it's not even his turn yet. Disqualification! If you're seeing this, Yugi wow. boy, it means I'm either dead, leaving behind a very fabulous looking corpse, or my soul has been captured by the leader of the Orichalcos. The leader of the Orichalcos, huh? That guy sure is mysterious. I wonder who he is. Who cares, Yugi? He's the one who has been orchestrating all these monster attacks across the world. I first learned of him when he tried to take over Kaiba my looks company. Very skinny. Someone tried to take over Kaiba Corp too. Fascinating. Whoever he is, he must be made to pay. Who cares, Yugi? His name is Darts, and he plans to amass Darts. enough souls to summon the great Leviathan and lay waste to all mankind. Well, but why? Darts. This guy sure is a piece of work. I care a lot about all of this information. Huh. Who cares, Yugi? The only way what the to heck? defeat him is with a special card that I've hidden somewhere in this room. Think mm. strategically, though. Pot of greed. Where can one find an extra card? Well, that's obviously Pot of Greed over there. How can you be so sure? Nobody even knows what Pot of Greed does. Start and neither parts. do I. But I can tell it's that one because it's animated differently than the rest of the <laughs> stuff in here. That's weird. It's just a blank card with nothing on it. Maybe mm. it had something very kinky on it and four kids <laughs> had to censor it. Speaking of kinky stuff. Uh, I'm just glad this Pegasus hologram can't flirt with me like the real one. I also hid a special surprise for Kaiba Boy somewhere oh my on my person. If he wants it, he has to come get it. I hope it's another rare card. No, it's my dick. <laughs> and he's out of there. Wow, he did not want to stick around. You think he's going to get oh, Pegasus' man. special surprise? I'll leave that up to the fanfic authors. So that's <laughs> settled, right? We have to find darts. Maybe we should check a British pub. They're always playing darts in those things. Hold up, y'all. Rebecca's grandfather, Professor Hawkins, was conveniently studying ancient Atlantis right before all this brouhaha. We should oh, go visit him. Guys, my joke about pubs. But how are we supposed to oh, find he, him? He actually... Literally I thought he was serious. It's okay. I randomly know his home address. See, it's because it's funny because darts. And he just happens to live a few hours away in a mansion in the desert. It's also a game you play. A lot of convenient shit just happened uh, real fast. Yeah. It's season four. You get used to it. In a pub. What the hell were you <laughs> in thinking? A pub. I had Wheeler right where I wanted him and you interfered. Back off, lady. He saved your soul and this is how you repay him? Nah, mate. It's fine. I can stand up for myself. Well, 
I guess I can't stand up for myself. From now on, both of you, stay out of my way. You have no idea the danger you're in. Okay, I'm back up. That dragon wheeler summoned, it's an ancient monster that can only be controlled by a chosen duelist. Hang it, Jake, let me get... <laughs> Never mind. Are you serious? It's a trading card. There's no destiny involved. It's about who's stronger. Any man can wave that fancy dragon card around and act tough. Not all men. I can see why you like her, Valen. She's as wild as she is determined. Yeah, and she's got a nice bum. That too. <laughs> that too. Rebecca! I love living in the middle of the desert with my stuffy old grandpa who spends all his time <laughs> reading books. <gasps> Maybe one day I'll know what it's like to have an actual friend! <laughs> Aww. I wonder what important research my grandpa's doing today. Eureka! This proves <laughs> Eureka. my theory. Magnifying glasses make stuff look bigger. Mm. Now where's that copy of Giant Gazonga's monthly? Where's the proof? Life couldn't be more peaceful. <laughs> Giant Gazonga. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! It must be one of those black government helicopters my grandpa is always posting about on the internet! <laughs> Only painted white! Unhand me, you monsters! I'll write a highly unfavorable research paper <laughs> about you, with inconclusive findings! This guy makes me sick. I bet he hasn't ridden a motorcycle in his life. <laughs> yeah, he probably drives a Vespa. Uh... <laughs> Good one, Todd. No! Grandpa! She didn't react well now. <laughs> This time Again? I can't blame it on my evil teddy bear. At least my parents weren't in there this time. Oh, oh my no. God. What, happened what happened to her teddy bear this Rebecca? time? Rebecca? Rebecca, where are you? Yugi! Oh, you were right in front of me the whole time. Seriously, how the f did I not see you? Yugi! My grandpa! He... <laughs> there, there, Rebecca. Let me guess. Your grandpa tried updating his iPhone and somehow managed to burn the house down. My grandpa does that all oh the time. Oh my god. No, Yugi! He was kidnapped by bikers! I was riding my horse Copernicus and Copernicus? As in the guy who discovered the sun was the real center of the solar system? Yes! He loves sugar cubes. The horse or the guy? <laughs> my grandpa, Yugi! Your grandpa oh. loves sugar cubes? Kind of random information to be giving me right now, Rebecca, but I You've been kidnapped! You have to help! I don't know what to do without him! <laughs> I feel like I should be concerned, but I just can't stop thinking about how Copernicus is a mm. stupid name for a horse. Is this some sort of ancient device your grandfather was studying? That's a kettle. Kettle! We can learn so much from our ancestors! You guys, Dots must have kidnapped the professor for uh. some reason! But why? Yes, they you wanted They could have just challenged him to a duel and taken his soul. Oh, my grandpa doesn't have time for children's card games. The f you say? I think they were after this. The Arakalco stone. I turned it into uh. a cute necklace to remember you, my love. You know that thing takes people's souls and I found it on a dead guy, right? That just makes it more romantic. <laughs> Who oh, wants man. food? I'm making other I'm stuff. hungry. Yeah, that guy Fieri don't know how to act. I'm just so <laughs> concerned, Yugi. Oh, I know, Fieri. Tristan's voice is weird, but you get used to it. The people who took my grandpa, they left this note. It says they've got your grandfather hostage in Death Valley. Death Valley? That's like a half hour away. How very convenient. I love season four. But Yugi, <laughs> how are you going to stop them? Don't worry, Rebecca. I Dooling. have a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that allow me to activate. I haven't seen Taken actually. Use two monsters in order to summon Gaia, the Dragon Champion. I will find the people who took your grandpa, and I will beat them in a card game. You can take Copernicus. Okay, but I refuse to call him that. Okay. <laughs> Horse, time Horse. to rescue a guy I interacted with a few times. <laughs> hey, Yugi, you should let me take over while we ride the horse. And why would I let you have the big heroic moment? Come on, just while you're getting on. You're way too short to do it by yourself. Fine, Aww. but you better let me take over again after we get up there. Side, nope. Yugi! Yeah, yeah. That was acting, children! Acting. Bravo for me! What is it, boy? Rebecca's grandfather is in trouble, and Yugi 
Mickey went to go rescue him? Nee, nee. Wait, who's that? It's the professor, and he's conveniently what? escaped. Nee, nee, nee. No, nee, bad nee, Joey. Nee, Put nee, down nee, that nice nee, professor nee, of archaeology. Nee, nee. Drop him. According to my research, I'm in a crap load of pain. Hey, Pharaoh, <laughs> I just wanted you to know, before we duel the pants off this guy, I'm really happy to call you my partner. Same Yugi. You know what they say, you got a friend in me. You oh, got sorry. a friend in me. You, you got, got troubles and uh, I got I've also got troubles and, and there is something and something I would do da, for da, you. Da, da. At, I don't know the lyrics either. See it through cause you've got, you got, 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 you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. I don't know the well, we really didn't know that song as well as we thought we did, did we, Pharaoh? Yeah, I've never even heard the song. I just started <laughs> singing it. <laughs> nice. See ya, Duelist Cowboy. Oh, my throat okay, is dying Okay, you let today. the dog in the fridge again? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so, Joey, I'm a responsible pet owner. Pet owner? 50 plus tier Patreon pledger. That's pretty cool. You can help us make more content. Yay. Thanks nope. for put All right, let's look over this. This is a fun episode. Yugi, come on. Just look at the back. See where the barcode is and where it's, yeah. Not the barcode. The magnetic strip is. And he keeps getting it wrong. Keeps getting it wrong until Tristan does it on his first try. When you're outsmarted by Tristan, that's a bad day for you, Yugi. And I got inside and see Toon World everything. Where could an extra card be? Yeah, pot agreed. Draw two, nobody knows how it works. <laughs> Kaiba was really antagonistic towards Yugi this episode for some reason. Oh, at least this hologram can't flirt with me. I've got a surprise for you. Is it a card? No. Ah, he just flew away so fast. Pot agreed. Oh, Tristan, maybe we should look in a pub. I thought he was serious, but he ain't. Did he get smarter to actually make that joke? See, I was talking about... It's a pub joke, guys. It's a pub... Yeah, yeah, it's a... Ah, oh, my Valentine. I can't... I can get up on my... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. And I'm dead. Saw Rebecca again. And her teddy bear is missing. Hmm. Wonder what happened to it. She's now a cowgirl. Oh no, she just watches while they take him away. She's like, oh no, they're taking him away. And explosion. If an explosion is strong enough to like throw you aside, I think it's strong enough to kill you because there's going to be shrapnel and well, wood splinters in this case. It'll just like, it'll kill you eventually. Uh, there's going to be a lot of internal bleeding, but they do that in all the shows. Uh, she's been right there the entire time. So she's got a quite a big crush on him, right? So I, I completely forgot about what her storyline is, but it's alright. I like how he go majestically. He goes majestically on Copernicus to save the grandfather, but the grandfather's already back by the time he leaves. Uh, we can learn so much from our ancestors. What is this? It's kettle, kettle. There are Hari Kalkos thingy. Guy fear. <laughs> Don't know how to act. And what was up with that blank card? Hmm. Guess we'll find out soon. Oh, poor Yugi. Didn't get to ride a horse heroically. <laughs> How did he escape? Is he the still the same person? And what the heck was Joey doing? Swinging him around? Uh, is he like a dog clumping him? Is that why Tristan was like, bad? I, t I, like, I take care of my pets. Ah, uh, see you, Duelist Cowboy. Oh, God. <laughs> Freaking Tristan. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.